Hello YouTube. Today we will be creating a value star. A value star is a short decorative pillar that's mostly found in the architectural features or stairways or parapets. So here we begin. In order to create, we first need to make sure that we are in any of the front, back, left or right views. So I'll go back to front view because our value star will actually stand on the ground. That's the reason I have to be any one of these views. Now, a standard height of a value star is something around 800 millimeters, which is close to 2 feet 7 inches. And the upper length is, is something around 165 millimeters. So let's begin. I take a line, I start creating a line and make it 165 millimeters. If it seems too big, then just simply zoom out and move your line up somewhere over here. Now I take another line and start from the middle of it and make it around 400 millimeters. I'll make the upper half and the lower half will just be a mirror. Now I create one small rectangle and try to push it right into the bottom. I start creating the rectangle, right click and set dimension and I put the dimension of 80 millimeters and 20 millimeters. Now move this rectangle from bottom to bottom. Now let's create the designer part. I take a line, I make sure my ortho mode is turned on. Now I start the line 40 millimeters then 20 millimeters inside, then 20 millimeters down, then 20 more millimeters outside, then again 40 millimeters down, then a little bit more like 30 millimeters inside. That's it. Now, before we forward to the next part, we take a circle and start creating it from here. The circle is going to be something around 100 millimeters big. Later on, we will actually cross this. I move the circle a little up. I start from this quadrant and push it right over here. Now I take a line and in order to join this gap, I'll simply make a straight line. Once that's done, let's clean up a little bit. I take the trim tool, press double enter and then start trimming the areas I do not need. In case you cannot delete, you will have to delete them manually. Yes, we are pretty much finished. We delete this part. Now, for this angle, I will use a fillet. I press FIL for accessing the fillet command. Then right click and say radius. The radius is going to be something around 80 millimeters. I take this line and take this line. And now this becomes a very interesting, nice round shape. So the upper half is made. Now we do mirror. I press MIR as a shortcut, press enter, select my object, press enter, take a point and make it mirror vertically. Press enter to finish. Now I delete these two lines because later on I will need to create an, a single axis line between these two points. And this also I want to trim up. Since this is done, this entire shape is completely broken, so I need to join the whole thing. I press J for accessing the join command, select entire object list and press enter. Now you see the entire object is a single object. Now in order to get to the axis, I will take a line and start from this point and to this point. So our profile and path, sorry the profile and the axis is completely made. Now we will turn back to a 3D view. So I press and hold shift and drag with my middle mouse button in order to rotate to the 3D view. In case you see your grid is a mess, you simply click this custom view, go back to top and then go back to southwest isometric again. Now your grid is completely organized. Now in order to make the final step, I will move back to my 3D workspace. So in order to do the revolve, 
I take this revolve command, take this profile and press enter and for axis I start it from the top and end it in the bottom and now you see your revolve has started. In order to finish the revolve I will make sure my auto mode is turned on and try to complete that revolve in the end point. In order to see this properly just go back to your 2D visual section and change it back to any of the shades of grey. And here is the value star. Thanks for watching.